Hey everybody, how are you? I don't like that light. Let me see. I think that this one is better or this one. I don't know. This one or this one. And I don't know if it makes any difference. Anyways, um, it's a morning for me. <laughs> so let's see if I'm awake. Uh, today, this tutorial is going to be an awesome design. It's a balloon animal. And it was a request uh, from Tom McNulty. He because he knew that I was going to Miami and he said, Oh, you should make a flamingo. But then there, I haven't seen any flamingo, you know. So, what I saw lots of were seagulls. But coming back here, I decided to make this design. So, this is the one I'm going to show you how to make, and it's very similar, probably, to many of the ones you already know from you know. But there is some cool things that I pay attention when I look for real flamingos. And it's the beak, you know, usually we make the beak all the way, all this um, black, but why? Because when I see it's just a little bit of the beak, it's black and the rest is kind of like pink. You can even make it maybe yellowish, you know, or white. And then it have this line as part of the mouth, you see? And then some white here. So those details, why not to add it and it's not that hard that's what i thought and then also here it changed the color for the feathers it kind of like it have also the flamingos this color that is blush you know i can see that and then the legs it can be also blush or yellow or orange you know so i thought at the same time making this something that it can use less balloons as possible but looking cool so let's start it you will need black, yes, and if you have a scrap like this one, it's fine because you don't need much. So this is just the balloon, but you will need a long tip here. So half of the balloon, 260, great. I'm trying to use all 260, but if you have 160, go ahead, do it with 160. The black and also for the legs, 160 will be awesome. That's going to be an orange 160. Okay. Let's start. You're gonna just make something little, like for example, two finger bubble, twist, 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 twist. Then you're gonna make like three or four if you prefer. You wanna make the shape of a beak. So that means two finger long one and the other one's gonna be longer. So it's gonna be approximately three finger long. You're gonna twist, lock. Okay, make sure it's locked. You have this. Now you can leave it for a moment. And then you're gonna go ahead and grab your pink. Now, play with different type of pinks. This one is a hot pink, yes. It doesn't have any brand. I don't remember the brand. This one, um, I think Tom McNulty, you sent me these pinks too. So I'm using, you know, and it worked great. So I'm gonna use this one. It's um, from the other brand that, Kalisa, I think, Kalisa. So let's see what happened because I noticed that Kalisa, that Kalisa, this brand, you know, Maybe it's good for balloon decorists, but the 260 tends to be too thick and they don't stretch that much. So it's not like you can make a lot of twisting with one balloon 260. But let's see what happens. So I'm gonna inflate it approximately, let's see, like eight finger tail. Yeah, let's go with that, eight finger tail. We're gonna tie it and we are going to um, make again another idea of a beak. So it's gonna be like now a little bit longer. So it's gonna be three finger long bubble. And then this one a little bit longer. So that's gonna be probably four, right? So this is like another beak. Now you have here this, and then from here we're gonna keep going and we're gonna measure like four finger bubble, pinch twist. And then for finger bubble, go back to the beginning here. And then you're gonna put these things, it's gonna be just like this. And then you're gonna make this bubble longer. So this uh, a little bit longer. So if this is worth four, this one's gonna be probably five or six. Okay, so when you have that, you have pretty much the head. Now, let's focus on the head and then we'll keep going with the rest of the body. When you have this piece, remember, you have to connect it right here. Yep, 
So you can grab the lasso, whatever is easy for you. I have here the beginning of the balloon. Pass it around a couple times. You can already tie it. Or what you can do is if you have balloon here air, you squish it because you just need you just need this skinny part without air or just a little bit of air. And you're gonna pass it through that side and then you're gonna keep squishing the air and pass it through the other side. Now and then twist. Make sure you keep the, the beginning of the black balloon to 60. Use the air and tighten. Trust me. Some things you may think because it's different. Oh, Cecilia, but that's not practical. I know it's a cool detail, but we'll practice. This is going to be faster and it's going to give that plus. That, um, like, there is a balloon twist. I remember I used to watch his tutorials, Baldy. And he always was wondering how his eyebrows are looking. <laughs> but he always say about the X factor or that, you know, like detail that is going to make your designs, whoa, like pop out, you know, it's going to be, and that can be this idea. Okay. Now, if you have a balloon scrap, great. You just need to puff air and pass it around and tie it here. Easy peasy, but you need to make sure you have an long enough. So this maybe is too short. You see, I like using balloon scraps because I'm always, when I'm twisting balloons, I, I recommend you to get a space in your area, a pocket, somewhere that you know there's scraps. And you will see like, scraps. And these scraps can be used, for example, right now. I'm just blowing a little bit. And I'm going to make like two finger bubble, another two finger bubble, twist it together, lock them, and make a double pinch twist. It's not gonna be maybe for that part of the beak, but it can be great for eyeballs, you know? So save your balloon scrap. It's a very good tip I recommend, especially because balloons are getting much, much expensive, you know? So now you put it there. Look at this. How cool is this, huh? <laughs> now, uh, what else? Now, imagine, well, Cecilia, I don't have white 260 scrap go with other colors like maybe blush why not so i'm gonna go because i found it here <laughs> and it's kind of closer but what will be good what will be perfect ivory you know but i have this puff some air tie it so now you balloon have some of air here and then you're gonna go around and just pass it around here and that is going to also help to this beak to be more stable. And I think it looks cool. I think so. And look, with practice, it's all you know about the practice to make this much faster. And again, you want to avoid details because there is a big line. Of course, avoid details. Just keep the ones you think of. That's going to make my design look faster, of course. So you have something like that. If you have a bigger scrap, good for you. I think it's gonna look better. But if it's not, it's okay. You can always just work with what you have, okay? So we leave it there. And this line is gonna also separate what it's the beak from the head. Now, from here, let's make something like this. Uh, maybe you're gonna measure approximately, what is this, eight finger long? But you can also grab all these and make it like, look, just have this and make like an S, look, and, and then twist it, pinch it here and pinch it here. You see how I'm doing this? So you have a shape that it works great. Now also another thing you can do, it's this neck. It can be also a little bit open the bubbles here and introduce this a little bit. It's up to you. But I think that could be a good idea. Too. Okay? So um, the idea is also that this neck can be all crazy. So I'm bending and bending, but you have to end into you have to bend into this piece to be the bending part that is gonna connect with the rest. Okay. I Cecilia oh Cecilia I saw different ways. If you check this neck also can be super super bended super bending like this but the idea if you just make this bending part like anywhere anyhow you want but you have to end this end here bending the, like this why 
because from here, right here, is gonna start the rest of the body. So how long is that? Approximately eight or nine finger long, okay? Flamingos, they have long necks and long neck. No, long, long, long neck and long legs, yes. Yeah. Okay, so now you have all this and the challenge is to finish the, the body. So I was thinking, why not to grab a round? Now, blush, it could be a good color because I seem very similar. So if you don't have a hard shape, like in this case, I don't even have a hard shape and it work out good. It's not that bad for the blush color, okay? But if you have it, let's go with blush and a hard shape. If you don't have hard um, blush, I mean, go with pink heart. Because when you twist this balloon in half, you will see, I'm going with pink now. You have, you know, the heart here. But you can always, you know, lose some air, something like this, tie it, and now split it in half. Because you have the shape of the heart here, it's going to be a cool way to make this idea. Look, look at this shape. And it happens when you make it with, with, um, what is this? When you make it with, um, with hearts. Okay, so you have this. This looks like little cute uh, lungs. Ah, don't you think? This can be a good idea for lungs to breathe. <laughs> okay, okay, let's keep going. So we close it this way, right? Like approximately all this nine finger long. Make sure this is kind of like locked so you can use, use your fingers to lock there. Don't get it twisted. So then from here, you can always make a two finger bubble pinch twist or one finger bubble better pinch twist. To make it easier then you're gonna kind of like measure here like five finger bubble okay then you're gonna make a loop and it doesn't have to be that big okay and depending let's make it like four finger loop okay okay twist it twist it twist it very well you can always lock them yes you open the loop pass that balloon the rest of the balloon okay so then it's time for attaching this part in there so what i see the shape i think is going to be looking good if it goes this way look so that's going to be in the bottom and this is going to be all the way to the other side so you're going to have enough balloon here to end with a bubble and then pass it around the neck and the pinch twist and lock this. So look at this cool idea to make a flamingo. You can always accommodate things, but I think it's really cool and I like it. So you have here a body of the flamingo. This piece, okay, we're gonna pass in a moment what is gonna be the legs. Now, if we can split this in half, it will be awesome, but it's kind of tight. It's kind of tight, so there's always a way to make the legs, okay? So let's keep going. We have this detail already. When the rest is gonna be um, the two pinch twist or one pinch twist and a, a bubble. That's gonna be good. Uh, so then the rest, let's go with a 160 orange. And it's a 160 orange inflated approximately like three finger tail, okay? You're gonna start, and I think that's another detail. You know, look at the feet. What are these? You know, three bubbles and a pinch twist. So let's go. Like approximately one bubble that is like no more than two fingers long. Another bubble, the same size is fine. Another bubble, you twist these three bubbles together. And then you make a Another bubble, approximately all the bubbles are no more than two fingers long, okay? And pinch twist. Okay. Then you're gonna measure just like three finger long. And you're gonna make one finger bubble, pinch twist, another finger bubble, pinch twist. Then you're gonna go up approximately six finger long. Okay. And this is uh, the moment that we need something that is stable. So this is what I'm thinking I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna just take the wrist, but it's gonna be a finger bubble pinch twist, another finger bubble pinch twist. 
Then from here, I'm gonna stretch the balloon because I don't want this match balloon, you know, um, when they go through here. So we're gonna grab this piece and pass the legs. Let's see. Let's pass it right here and pass it through. Pull. The good thing because it's a 160, it's not gonna be that hard. Keep pulling until you kind of like this find that this pinch tweet that you just make and squish the air because you don't want them to have more balloons. So just like that and find it in the middle, in the center, and that's it. That is kind of going to help things you will see. So you have something like this. Just squishing the air. Doesn't have to be that tight. Just squishing the air. You find it in the middle. Now, um, this is something interesting, but maybe we practice. Look at the design. So the leg that is twisted like this bandage, it kind of had to look this way. So let's see. That's why I don't want to get confused. Uh, so then from here, what we're going to do is let's put it like here. Let's put this one like this. And then you're just going to measure like approximately six finger long and then a finger bubble, spin twist, another six finger long and go back to here look okay and then when you are in this connection now this leg that we just start is gonna go like this and then from here we're gonna just finish the other leg that is gonna be approximately six finger long and the rest you're gonna make what is going to be the feet? So look, it's getting too tight. So instead, probably to inflate this balloon orange, one sixty-three finger tail, make it like five finger tail or six finger tail. So then it's not going to be that tight at the end. Okay? I'm going to do a surgery here, a plastic surgery, and just going to lose, a, like, make a little hole, and slowly lose the air, very slowly. So this is a cool thing you can do too. And then you're going to have to measure here, like, approximately four bubbles one finger bubble each approximately so look i'm using also the palm of my hand and i'm still making four bubbles so it can be hard but not impossible so i calculate okay i can do it with this so i'm gonna tie this piece and now i have the idea that i'm gonna have enough to twist this okay so let me see six and then one two and three still a little bit tighter but it's not impossible. The idea is just try and do your best, okay? Now, put things in proper position and you're gonna have something like this. Look how cool is this. I hope you like it. Pretty much the design is done. Now, what we need to do here, it's sharp time. And with sharpie time, what it is, it's more just um, the eyeballs, you know? And that's it. Um, so let's go with your black sharpie and i'm just gonna make a circle very easy look this is very easy you just make a round circle and because it's a flamingo you can even think about why not eyelashes so i'm just gonna pass like one long line there to look like it's have some eyebrows uh, or some eyeliner and make eyelashes let's do the other side too okay let's do the other side so that's the same idea i'm doing a circle and then I'm making like a, the eyeliner that is going to go all around and then I'm going to make eyelashes. And there you go. Tell me in the comments, what do you think? You like it? It is cool. You can make it. And don't forget, if you make it, text, um, tag me. You can always uh, follow me or find me on Instagram. That's the place that we can chat. You can share pictures with me. I love that. There's even audio so we can even talk. But please uh, avoid Facebook for, you know, friendships, like, because Facebook, I keep it for my community, for my business, like, uh, for clients, you know, here in my community. Uh, but uh, if you already have me on, on Facebook, just yes, tag me, or, or also on Facebook, there are really cool groups that you can follow, uh, be part of the group, and they are one of those, um, what is, Balloon Twister Central, Balloon Central, Balloon Twisting Central, Something like that. There's a lot of groups. I 
<laughs> just forgetting but you can always you know like there tag me you know you can mention me if you make something that you learn on this channel you can mention this is from the channel cecilia lady balloons uh you know something like that because i would love to see it and at the end of all my videos now on you know it's been like two months or three that i start at the end of all my each tutorial i add pictures that i found you know on social media that is people that mention me that they learn a design from this channel so that makes me feel great and also i think it motivates other people that see that it's not impossible you just have to be patient practice time you know take your time practice and have fun don't forget what is coming and i always say i'm gonna tell this good news at the beginning but it's like i forget it what is coming it's bling bling jam and i'm gonna be there my first time in a balloon convention is going to be las vegas bling bling jam i'm gonna be there from july 17 all the way to july 22nd i think pay you know check out the website i think july 21st 17 to the 21st well, check out the website if you have any questions you can always write you know like there uh call them Steve is the main organizer of this awesome event. He's a super nice guy and he will answer all your questions. Um, I'm going to be there and it's going to be amazing. I'm sure, you know, I heard a lot of good things, positive things, because this balloon convention is for all balloon lovers. Like not just you, if you are an expert or if you already, you know, work making balloons, it's for everybody that wants to enjoy it and learn more and then also meet other balloon twisters and have fun. You know, this is like a celebration of, uh, you know, the meaning of bringing balloons to everyone. It's like just bring happiness. So you're going to love it and it's going to be awesome. If you're going to go, please leave it in the comments. I'm going to be teaching one class and I think it's going to be wonderful. So it's going to be something cool that you can use it. And I think I'm working in something that it can be as line work and at the same time looking great, you know, and original and um, new. You know, that's what kind of like we want it's hard because everything is already there but why not to try so that's gonna be the idea that what i'm thinking of pointing to do the class you know to make the class something like that um then it's gonna be jam rooms that we can be jamming so you can if you you know remember me or if you <laughs> see oh i seen this guy on youtube please come and you know like let's jam together because my plan is also enjoying the jam rooms there's going to be also competitions so if you want to go and give it a try you can compete in making fast designs headband designs bigger sculptures medium sculptures small sculptures and if you just want to have fun it's totally great because that's my idea too we're gonna be just there twisting jamming and you know um, i think there's gonna be moments that we can go outside and twist balloons for tips so that sounds really cool right awesome have a wonderful day. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. And on the description of all my videos, you will find ideas how to collaborate with this channel. Because thanks to all your collaboration, your donations on my PayPal, my Venmo, uh, sending, you know, balloons to my mail address, all those things, you know, and even watching the videos, commenting, liking, subscribing, that helps a lot and make things possible for me, like going to this balloon convention for the first time. It's it's something that I can wait to enjoy and, and have the experience. And I hope, you know, if you can make it, if you can this time, I'm sure keep it in your bucket list. Because now that I'm so close that I'm finally realized that I'm going to be in a balloon convention, I'm feeling that this is going to be a great opportunity, especially for this moment in my life that I'm trying to show and teach, you know, others. I'm sure I'm going to learn from all of you too. But also teaching, it's going to be great because in videos, you know, I'm not that good making those videos uh, as I, I wish, you know, show you the, all the angles, you know, repeat, stop, wait a minute, what you just did, you know, I think in person is always the best way. But uh, I hope, you know, if it's not in this balloon convention, I also go into another balloon convention. So stay tuned, stay tuned. Right now I'm focusing in this awesome balloon convention, Bling Bling Jam, Las Vegas Bling Bling Jam, July 17th. Okie dokie. Have a wonderful day. Ciao, ciao.